Hey everyone, I thought it would be fun to go back and take a look at all five official versions of Groot from the Marvel Superheroes universe that LEGO has released to date over the past four years. So let's go ahead and start with the biggest one, which was the first. This full-grown Groot came out in the 2014 Nowhere Escape mission set with the original Guardians of the Galaxy 1 releases and it's kind of a hybrid isn't it it's not fully a brick built action figure i mean most of the body is and everything but then most of the critical details for the torso as well as the head together were all done as one specialized piece and that is all printed up and this actually used no stickers in spite of the fact that it had a couple of decorated pieces for the legs there. Those were also done with prints. And this one is pretty well posable. You know, it can be put into action poses and everything thanks to the use of the ball joints for the, the shoulders at least, not the elbows, but the elbows are just fine themselves. And also the, the uh, hips here for the tops of the thighs and also at the knees. Nothing for feet, but that's okay. But you know, it allowed you to very easily put this into a motion pose that it would be able to to hold on to and you could do all sorts of things with the articulated fingers and everything which i i really appreciated you know i think it was nice that they actually let us build this up rather than just giving us maybe a skinny version of a big figure or something but compare that to teenage groot which is not only minifigure sized but it's actually a minifigure this of course is the most recent groot having come out in 2018's thor's weapon quest set for Avengers Infinity War, where the Guardians of the Galaxy officially come together in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the Avengers. And yeah, it's a proper minifigure with just a completely new head mold that was done just for him. Once again, printed details that are very compatible with what we saw on the original uh, Groot for the, the torso there. Nothing for the legs though, unfortunately. And they show a little bit of his his growing power to have you know some additional biomass coming out from him. And I think that was done just fine. But it's just a really good looking figure and feels very collectible. And having it actually in minifig size and scale and shape and everything makes it basically fit into a regular minifig collection. It's another major step down in size though to the last version that we got in 2017, the Ravager outfit version of Baby Groot, which came in the Aisha's Revenge set from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. This was another mold that was made specifically for Groot, and a lot of fans found this to be almost impossibly cute with the, uh, the little Ravager outfit on there. I mean, this is really tiny. The, the printing for the dark red is sprayed on and it's just a little bit kind of soft towards the base of it, but they got a lot of detail on this. And the hands were done in the size of regular Lego bars. So you could still attach anything with a clip on it to that. Arguably even more adorable though, was the other version of Baby Groot here on the left. It also came out in 2017 for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. This one in the Milano versus the Abelisk set, the big set of the wave that they did there. They really didn't put a whole lot into Guardians of the Galaxy 2, but uh, this was the, the larger set, which came with the at that time, the smallest of the, the Groots, if that was the first one you got. I think they actually came out at the same time, but I personally got the Milano first because it was the one you wanted to get. This one has no printing around the back, but the print on the front of the torso portion of the body is again compatible, very compatible in its style with the other, uh, the other ones that we've seen. And uh, the printing for the heads are very similar, but you have a very different facial expression, including subtle changes to the eyebrows, such as they are, and a fair amount of difference to the eyes. And of course you get the, the little smile on the left, which makes him look even more innocent. I'm not sure which one is, uh, is, is cuter, the, the babyish smile or the one where he gets actually mad, you know, for such a small and young character in universe 
to to get mad and and to be you know to be strong the way that he was i'm not sure which one is better i personally like the one on the left better though as a figure so it was while I was setting up this pose that I realized my full-grown Groot was missing a finger and I went to look for it and I couldn't find it. Fortunately, when I came back, I realized that the finger had simply grown back. So that's one of the great things about Groot is you never have to worry about missing limbs for long. Case in point, this is the official sapling version of Groot that came with the Rocket Raccoon poly bag with just the figure this and a couple of sticker sheets or I think it was maybe just one sticker sheet that was folded up had a limited release I think it was retailer exclusive in the US I think it only came out in uh, Toys R Us stores I may be mistaken on that so that's the complete family tree if you will for lack of a less terrible pun of official Lego Groot renditions to date do you think they will do more in the future I certainly hope so Maybe it'll be something between teen and adult versions next, or perhaps there'll be a new version of the adult one that'll have an even better build with less of the gray showing up for the color locked uh, you know, ball joint pieces. Maybe they'll come out with some new colors for those, or maybe they'll have a different build altogether. We shall see. Anyway, thought this would be a fun little thing to do. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you again soon.